Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So I know a lot of Utah Jazz fans got this notification yesterday about signing Ray John Tucker. It was wondering, who is this guy? You feel me? So I'm here to tell you who he is and what to expect out of him, along with Jordan Clarkson. So before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance. If you like the video and you like the content, make sure you click the subscribe button at the end. I got everything from football and basketball. This is the channel you need to be at, so make sure you click the button. Now let's actually get into the video. So like I was saying, the Utah Jazz, they was kind of busy yesterday with moves to sign Ray John Tucker, and they also traded for Jordan Clarkson to help out their team. So I'll talk about Jordan Clarkson at the end of the video, but as far as Ray John Tucker, I like the addition. And the fact that they dropped Jeff Green for this guy who was playing in the G League says how confident they are in his abilities. Now there are people that were saying that Jeff Green should have stayed on the team. And there's also people that were saying he was washed and trash. I really don't know. I need some people to help me out on that. But about Ray John Tucker, when you type his name in on Google, it says he's a 6'5 small four, which is definitely false. But the articles say that he's a 6'5 um, a guard. But the G League says he's a 6'3 guard. So we're just going to say he's a 6'3 guard. But he does kind of look 6'5. But, you know, I just don't know. But... On the Bucks G League team, through 16 games, he started all games. He averaged 24 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. He's shooting 49% from the field as a guard. And he's shooting 39% from the 3. Now, after looking at the clips, Tucker is a really strong physical and athletic guard. His bread and butter is slashing. And he is fast and explosive enough to get past his opponents on the drive. And when he has to, he will challenge you at the rim and he will finish through contact. I've seen him make some very difficult layups at the rim. And part of that is because of him being strong and physical. But the other part is just him being athletic and skilled enough to adjust his body and become an acrobat at the rim just to get the ball into the basket. That's something that you see Kyrie Irving do, a lot of strong guys like LeBron James. Like you, This is stuff that you see out of guys like even Donovan Mitchell, you feel me? So, Tucker, he can also shoot threes as well. He's shooting 39%, but to me, he seems like more of a catch-and-shoot type of guy, but he is capable of shooting off the dribble. Now, I'm not sure about his mid-range, but I saw him complete a spin jump shot and a fader in the mid-range area so take that how you want it. you can say he can be able to shoot mid-ranges or create a jump shot but i have not seen enough of that i've just seen him going through the paint and shooting threes now i feel like if the jazz really give this man a shot he can definitely have a good role in this team along with his skills he seems very passionate about the game he also brings a lot of energy when he plays and on top of that the man is confident about his abilities the man feels like he's a star sitting in the low light when he was playing in the G League. So, now that he's in the NBA, the big boy leagues, I feel like the sky's the limit for him depending on his work ethic and his dedication and the guidance that he receives from guys like Donovan Mitchell, um, Rudy Gobert, other guys that's vets, and the coaching staff. You feel me? Um, I feel like he can have a good enough season um, or, you know, a surprising season just like Kendrick Nunn did, another G League prospect. It all depends on him, but we're not going to try to juice him up. But for right now, I will say that he can be able to be a good role player for the Utah Jazz. Now, for Jordan Clarkson, statistically, he looks like a steal. But watching him on the Cavs, which is my team, he's a bullhog. He also has terrible ton of tunnel vision, and he doesn't always have the best shot IQ. Now, what I will say is he can score the basket. I'm not saying he cannot score points, but at times he can really hurt the team with his decision making. And I feel like he catches himself, you know, caring more about his individual performances rather than the team and winning. And you can say, oh, the Cavs suck. Of course, he feels that way. But even when LeBron James was here and we was in the finals, this man was terrible with the tunnel vision and IQ. You feel me? And when he can't score, he can't defend, and he's not a playmaker, so he can really be a liability at times. But overall, like I said, he can score, and I would definitely prefer him over Dante Exum. Dante Exum, he's been a disappointment. Um, you know, he's not been healthy. He just and he doesn't really get that much play time. So why not? You know, make the trade for Jordan Clarkson. They definitely come out on top with the trade. 
but it's all about the guidance and his role on the team along with the coach of how he can better this team off the bench. So that's pretty much all I got to say. And along with Jordan Clarkson, please get that man a new barber. I know y'all peeped the taper. I know y'all peeped the line of pieces, man. Yo, you feel me? He needs some help. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section about the um, Utah Jazz and these recent moves. Also about Ray John Tucker. And also let me know how Jeff Green was doing. You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming soon.